Hi guys, welcome to Olivia Connects. We've got a very cool episode today. We are here with Tracy, who's a nutritionist. Hi, my name is Tracy Houle and I'm a holistic nutritionist. I have certification in dynamic eating psychology and have recently completed a functional nutrition course. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Super thrilled to be here. It's a beautiful home. We are going to find out how to make fat bombs, which you guys must tune in for. So if you guys are excited, hit the thumbs up. And if you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe. So I know to keep creating content similar to this. So let's start. Uh, what is nutrition, Tracy, and why is it important for us to be aware of it? Well, nutrition technically is the idea of using food for nourishment. It's um, using the nutrients that are found in food to help grow our bodies, to help maintain health, or even to help prevent or reverse disease. All right, so it's very important. <laughs> we got it. But there is so much stuff out there, it's hard to know what sources we can trust from social media to shows like Dr. Oz. And then there's Health Canada's food guide. We're constantly bombarded. There's organic, there's GMO, there's all these new diets being vegan. I'm just like gut bacteria. I don't yeah. know where to even turn to. So what kind of tips can you give our viewers to just improve their lifestyle? Probiotics for sure, 100%. Um, vitamin D, everybody is lined up in the morning to get their vitamin D shot, uh, drop. <laughs> um, like you're doing shots? Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, fish oil is regular and multivitamins. So that those four things I just named kind of cover all your bases, right? You're getting your essential fatties, acids from the fish oil, you're getting your vitamins and minerals from your multivitamin mineral, you're getting your probiotics for gut health, and you're getting vitamin D for hormonal health, immune system function. And, and especially good in the winter. Yeah. Yes, but you know what? Take it all year long. Take it all year long. Okay. Yeah. And one of the tips that I started to do was um, when you're picking up packaged food, if you want to make the decision to buy it, look at the ingredients. If you can go around the grocery store collecting all the items that are on that label, then it's fair game. If that label has a bunch of stuff that you can't recognize and you can't find in the grocery store, then just leave it behind. Yeah because if you don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, why put it in your body, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So what does food mean to you? Um, well, now as a nutritionist, food is fun, right? Food wasn't always fun. When I first went out onto my own, in, sorry, on my own, living on my own, I was eating like the same stuff every day and it was always processed packaged food because that's all I knew. And, and it was easy, I'm sure. And it was easy, it was cheap, it was convenient. But once I had kids, I didn't want to feed them that way anymore. And then uh, fast forward to when my son was six, he had a lot of tummy issues. So that's pretty much what spearheaded me into this field of nutrition. And then when I changed our diet, I thought, oh my God, our family is thriving. I just wanted to go deeper and deeper, right? So I love using food for healing and for fun. I mean, I feel like there's no room for guilt when it comes to food, right? <laughs> that's a new concept. I know there's a lot of um, guilt and shame around eating and I, and I hate that. And actually the thing that led me to the um, certification in dynamic eating psychology was because I wasn't getting um, any headway with my clients. I wasn't seeing people twice. I would give people like these awesome protocols that were probably super overwhelming. And then it was like, I would never see them again. And then I realized there's a mental game. There's a behavioral change or a shift that needs to happen for any of this to be long lasting. Like, yeah, definitely if you hear something or if you read it in a magazine, I mean, magazines are notorious for this too, right? You get this like 500 word article making all these claims yeah. about something that will change your life. All the pictures before and yeah, after like yeah. guys there are probably models they are probably modified yes yeah so you you don't know yeah and you know what there is no magic bullet like it's just not gonna happen there's not this one thing you can take that will reverse aging um, help you lose weight make you feel amazing keep you 20 for the rest of your life like that's not gonna happen but I do have one sort of whole foods tip that I think is really the sums up in a nutshell um, what you can think about when it comes to food and health uh, just use whole foods there's nothing else you need to think about when it comes to nutrition. So 
If a food looks like what it did when it was harvested or picked, then eat it, right? If it doesn't and it had to go through a lab or it went through manufacturing process, then whatever nutrients were already in the food when it was harvested have been depleted because when you go through the processing of food, you deplete the nutrients and now they're injecting nutrients, right? They're fortifying breads with folic acid. Well, just eat greens and then you won't have a folate deficiency. Um, so, you know, that's sort of my like, thought for the day, right? Just stick to whole foods. If you can recognize it, and especially when it comes to grains, you want your grains to look like what they were supposed to look like when they were harvested. So quinoa, rice, they look the same. Wheat has taken on a thousand different forms, right? And the Canadian wheat right now is not looking so good because they spray with glyphosate in the drying process. So you're best with organic wheat or, um, you know, just avoiding it because it's really inflammatory. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to find me, you can find me at tracyhool.com. So now we're going to get up off of our seats and we're going to follow Tracy into the kitchen to make some fat bombs, whatever those are. Awesome. So today we are making um, a homemade healthy chocolate recipe, uh, or as people love today, fat bombs. If you're a keto person, this is a great recipe to use. Uh, I've got coconut oil, maple syrup, just a little bit because it's a fat bomb. You don't want too much sugar. Um, some nice organic cacao, a little pinch of sea salt, and you can add in your favorite nuts. I'm going to be doing Brazil nuts and macadamia nuts today because they are some of the best fats for your brain. And Brazil nuts have a ton of selenium, which is awesome for our thyroid and for males' prostates. So um, add in your favorite nuts, all right? So we're going to start with uh, heating up some coconut oil. I've got a third cup of coconut oil and a quarter cup of super awesome Canadian organic maple syrup. Just gonna whisk that together. I'm gonna add in a pinch of salt. And once that's nice and warm, Add in and whisk in your cacao. I just want to show you the consistency. Once you see a little bit liquidy, that's it. Turn off the heat. Add in your uh, Brazil nuts, macadamia nuts, or whatever nuts you're using, um, and just mix it up together. No big deal, okay? And now I've got kind of like this like fudge kind of consistency, and that's perfect to go in your ice cube trays. You've got healthy chocolate, which is a super awesome relaxant. So this would be great to make during stressful days. Um, these also are great for balancing your blood sugar because of the amount of coconut oil that's in there, right? It's a great healthy fat for balancing blood sugar. And before I let you go, Tracy, if there was another job you could be doing that you haven't already done, what would it be and why? I would be a clinical psychologist. Oh, okay. Yes, <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's something that has always been on the back of my mind. Anybody that knows me knows that I love that field. And I'm just so fascinated by the human mind and human behavior. And so I kind of got to fulfill that little dream through my um, dynamic eating psychology course because it gave me that little yeah. little touch on that subject. So like a little teaser. Yes, exactly. And you're like, I want more. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, we hope you find that and we hope you. you incorporate that with all of your work. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're interested in meeting up with Tracy, all of her information will be down below. And we will see you next week. Take care.